Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. So today, we're going through all those pigeons that I just got, and we're gonna look at some of the other ones that I have and see how they're all doing and stuff. But first, time to look for some asparagus. And it looks like I'm about a day past, ooh, what I should have been here. Actually, a couple days. There's a good start. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I can reach from this side anyway. I might just have to walk around and go through the field. Oh, there's some good ones in there though. Oh, there's a good one. Look at that, right in his prime. All right, well that wasn't a bad little pick. I mean, we got ourselves a good little handful. Now we gotta go check the turtle trap. I haven't caught anything for a few days. Um, so far we just caught that one uh, that you guys saw a couple videos ago. But it's been pretty nice recently. Maybe they're out in the sunning, I don't know. But uh, there's a little spot there that we can look for asparagus also. So we're gonna go ahead and stop there, pick that asparagus, check the turtle trap, go home, and into the pigeons. So let's get after it. There's one. Are there any more? Just one? Well, this spot is slacking. I really can't complain though because uh, I didn't know this existed until a couple months ago. Month ago, about a month ago. Uh, all right, let's go see if we have something in the turtle trap. I was walking up to it. That is definitely not a turtle using that thing. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is because I'm a little far away yet, but uh, yeah, at least something's getting some use out of it. Now let's go see if we have any turtles though. That will say, this water is a little clearer than what I thought. But you see the color here? Yeah, that's from like, in case you guys didn't know, this was lagoon for the dairy. That meant all the poop and pee and stuff. It came into here. A lot of people in the last video about that turtle said, eat it. Believe me, I'm, he's, I got him in some water. I'm trying to cycle it out, get him cleaned out and stuff. But still, to get to that size, being in here, do I really want to eat him? I don't know, but I'll think about it. All right. That's a big nothing again, I can tell you already. Zero. Uh, it's been here long enough though, I think tomorrow I'm gonna drop some bait into it and see if we can improve our odds. So, yeah. Anyway, enough of all this, let's go look at some pigeons. I know I promised pigeons, but before I leave here, all you pond and fish head people, tell me, what can I put in here that'll help clean up this water? Uh, yeah. What will make it better, more viable? I mean, it'll hold stuff, but what will help take a lot of that nasty out? I know there's an answer out there somewhere, uh, even if the answer is nothing, but you know, there's an answer. So if you guys know what'll help me clean this mess up, drop me a comment, please let me know. All right, so you guys know these birds. My uh, four racers that have actually been out flying around. Uh, I haven't showed you the babies. They grow so fast, they're barely babies anymore. But anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take all four of the birds that are in here, we're gonna put them in a cage and we're gonna take them down the road about a half mile. And we're gonna start getting a little bit of distance into them. So my goal is to hear before too long, I'm just getting into this actual training part. I don't know enough to be anywhere near an authority. I'm just hoping, hoping I'm doing it right. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out mile. You know, we're gonna do that for a little while. We're gonna keep increasing it, and I'm hoping uh, here before too long, I'll just be able to pack them all up, take them with me to work, which for me is about 15 miles because I have to take a long way around. But for them, it's gonna be closer to seven. But that might be a good little exercise for them. So if you have tips or hints. I would appreciate a little help there as well. But uh, yeah, let me go get a cage. We'll get them loaded up. We'll go take them down the road and uh, hopefully they come back because that would be pretty uh, catastrophic if they didn't. All right, you guys ready? All right, so we are about a half mile from the house. Okay. There they go. They're just out circling around right now. 
I was very confident they'd be able to make this flight because they've been fly I mean, they've been free flying for a month or two now. Um, but there's some really real distinct landmarks, like within easy within a half mile of my house, that I figured that even once they got up in there a little bit, that they'd be fine. So uh, since they did that, no problem at all. I think next time I'm gonna start taking them about a full mile. And I think I'm gonna start branching out in different directions around the house and see how that goes too. So, unless you guys tell me not to in the comments below, because like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this just is one technique that I read a little bit about and it made sense to me. So, that's how I started doing it. If I'm doing it wrong or there's a better way, you guys need to let me know. Now that we're home though, let's go ahead and look at their babies and then we'll get into the new birds. Get out of the truck, they're already back here, you know, looking for food and stuff. You guys all getting a snack, huh? You need to clean your coop out again. Anyway. Chill, guys. Here, let me let you guys out. You guys mind going out for a little bit? Love watching them fly. There we go. There is thing one and thing two. Hey, you guys looking pretty good. Anyway, they are as ugly as baby pigeons are, but they look like they're growing pretty good. I'm pretty excited about them. Can't wait to slap a couple bands. They're almost about ready to band here. They might be ready to band. I don't know, I'll figure it out. What we're gonna do now is we are going to head up and check the birds up in the loft. I'm gonna give you a quick glass over them. Um, then we'll get more into the individual birds and then we'll see how it all goes from there. All right, so I put them over in this half of the upstairs. Now, I'm sure I'll say it again later, but these birds obviously are older and have been flown, so I can't exactly just let them fly loose. But hopefully, they give me a good start. They can start uh, reproducing, and then hopefully, my plan is that they'll start breeding a whole bunch. I'll get a good bunch going. I will take the young from these, start them in that loft, start flying them out of, you know, here, and hopefully have a pretty good team going. Um, not plan on entering any races or anything like that right now. Uh, gotta start somewhere though. Let's get into the individual birds. Okay, I have no idea what you guys have watched up to this point uh, because I have not had time to think this video out, but I needed to get these birds out of the pen and uh, where I've been holding them and up into the actual loft. So let's get into what you guys are here to see um, all these racing homers that I bought, okay? There's a bunch of them. Um, I'm really excited though, because the guy talked him up a lot. Uh, yeah, the one bird I'm super excited about, he pointed out which one he was to me for sure. He is a three-time 650 mile race winner, which, I mean, they're not flying huge scale races, obviously, but uh, the bird won it three times. I, th I think he's a stud, he, I know he's old. I know he's old, old but I think he's a stud. So uh, let's go through and look at these birds. There's, I mean, there's almost 50 birds. I'm not going to do them all. I'm just gonna kinda pick out the coolest ones. Uh, probably not gonna show you many of the blue checks or bars or anything like that. Um, we'll look at some of the more interesting ones. But anyway, let's get into it. All right, these we're not gonna look at individually. Uh, just a bunch of blue checks, blue bars. I was checking some bands. I've seen 2006. 2013, 2011. I mean, there is a wide range of ages. Most of them are old birds. Uh, he did tell me he was cleaning out a lot of his older, you know, older stock. To uh, he just had too many. I think he sold about 200 birds. Um, but yeah, so these are just uh, you know blue checks, blue bars. Uh, the first slot to go up. All right, first one here. I'm sure is a cockbird. He looks he looks like one. Um, but look at this guy. He is huge. He's actually one of the younger ones. He is a 2016 bird, um, but you guys know how I'm a sucker for these reds. Um, yeah, there's a few of them that look kind of like this, but uh, yeah, he's he's thick. I'm a, I'm enjoying this guy already. Next up, I'm pretty sure this is a hen. Uh, it is not banded, but it's got those white flights. Pretty, I mean, I love that head. Pretty bird. Uh, she's not banded, so I have no idea how old she is uh, or why she was missed. But, you know, 
they came from that guy. He did tell me the pedigrees. I can't remember what they were, um, but I was impressed. Uh, I really wish I would have paid more attention when I was there, but it was so crazy there at the auction. I had no idea what was going on. You wanna pet it? Time for an old blue bar. I'm guessing, a, I'm pretty sure there's a cockbird, but look at him. Look at that beauty. Doesn't he just look majestic? Anyway, pretty standard blue bar. He is a 2008 bird. So uh, he's got some age to him. Here is another red bar. Man, you guys know, you guys know how I feel about this every single time. Uh, this is actually a younger bird. This is a 2018 bird. So, I mean, not a baby by any means, but uh, definitely younger than most of them that I got out of this lot. All right, check out this beauty. Isn't she gorgeous? I assume, uh, it might, it's probably, it might be a cockbird. Either that or a really old hen. It is a cockbird, I know it is already. Uh, anyway, I assume it's a cockbird. This one is a 2013 bird. Yeah, 2013. Um, I mean, isn't he pretty? I'm excited about this bird. Uh, I only have a couple of them that are in the white color scheme. Um, he did have like 50 pure white ones that I missed. Uh, but, you know, we got this one. Check out this old red bird. This is a, I mean, he's a 2009 band. Um, I'm just going, I'm assuming that they're banded uh, the same year because this guy raced. Uh, I mean, this guy, I mean, yeah. This guy here though, I mean, isn't he pretty? But yeah, another one of those guys he's got, I, I need to look up what that actually is called. If you guys know what that is called, need to drop it in the comments. I cannot for life of me remember what it is. Uh, but yeah, I think he's a beaut. This is a 2016 bird here. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm showing you the guys. I just think it's a beautiful, kind of that grizz color there. Uh, it caught my eye. This is the beautiful lacing on those feathers. Yeah, I don't know. I just think she's an awesome looking bird. Look at this 2012 bird. I mean, he's old, but man, isn't he cool? Anyway, I think you guys might like to see him. Next, we have this really pretty grizz. I mean, I think it's gorgeous. Uh, this is a 2020 bird. This is a young bird here. Uh, the weird thing is, it's got a Texas band on it. I, uh, I had no idea that this bird was gonna be in there. So I don't know the story at all behind this one here, uh, other than she's pretty. So anyway, got a nice young bird. All right, got another red bar here. Pretty bird. This one here is a 2008 bird. So I'm guessing, you know, maybe a red hen. Yeah, what do you think? So we got another grizz bird here. Uh, a lot of dark in the feathers there. This one does not have a band either, but I wanted to show it to you. So there's that one. Here is a 2015 red bird. You guys, I've said it like 80 times in this video. Big fan of the reds. Uh, don't have a lot of them though, but I'm showing you most of them. Now there's nothing super special about this bird. I mean, he looks kind of cool, but he is thick. I mean, the boy has shoulders. Look at those loins. Good grief. Uh, anyway, this is a 2018 bird, which, I mean, he's so thick. I mean, good grief. Yeah, anyway, I picked him up and I was like, dang. Here is a 2016 red bar. This is a 2011 red bar here. Sorry about the shadow, guys. We got ourselves a 2018 blue check. Had to throw her in there. By the way, I'm assuming what these are. Uh, I don't, I'm not great at telling the gender of these pigeons, but I'm doing the best that I can. Here is a dark red 2008 bird. What do you think of that? What do you think of that, guys? I think it's beautiful. Got ourselves a 2013 blue bar. Here we have another non-banded, almost completely white. There is some uh, some dark flecks in there, but uh, yeah. Here we have a 2016 red bar. And if I get these colors wrong, guys, please let me know. Anyway. There's that one. Here is a 2007 blue check. Man, another old bird. Uh, actually still has uh, the transmitter band on it still. So you know she raced for sure. Actually all these birds have raced. 
uh, or at least the best majority of them. Up next we got this 2013 bird with the beautiful white flights. You guys know I like that. We have a 2013 red bar. This is an 08 blue bar. Another solid red. Uh, this one is also a 2013 bird. I like that. I like that a lot. Here we have an unbanded bird, uh, white flights. And that pretty noggin. A 2011 red bar. Last one of those. And the one you've been waiting for. This is Mr. Three Time Champion. He's a blue check with white flights. Coming in at a very old 2007. But look at how pretty he is. Isn't he gorgeous? He's definitely been around the block a few times. Uh, 650 mile, uh, 650 mile three time winner. Uh, the guy that sold these birds, he told me that he had a race from Texas to Kansas. I'm not gonna give you the exact towns. Uh, he preferred that I didn't do that. But uh, they made that trip, those birds did, in 10 hours or less. That's crazy to me. That's a long ways to fly, especially for a little bird in less than 10 hours. I'm sure there's faster times out there, uh, but I was impressed. So, anyway, that's the birds. I'm super excited to see what they can do. You guys got a good look at them all up close, except for, I mean, obviously you didn't see all of, boy, he's just pretty, isn't he? You guys didn't see all of the bars and the checks. I don't know why, but that check just looks magnificent. Tell me what you guys think about that three-time champion. He's a real old bird. Do you think he's still viable? Should I try and like force pair him with something? Should I just leave him up here with all the other birds and hope that he picks out a good mate? There's a lot of birds in here though that are a lot younger than he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey dude. Yes, I know my floor's a mess. I need to clean it up again. He seems like a pretty good looking, you know, for an old bird anyway. Hopefully, you know, he picks out a pretty young lady. Well guys, that's it for today. Lots of pigeons. You guys have been asking for pigeons for a while. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, I'm looking forward to this new little racing adventure. Uh, I'm not sure how racy it'll be, but you know, getting a good group of birds to fly. I'd like to have 50 or 100 birds that I can just take out, let go, and just watch them fly. I think that'd be kind of cool. Well, before we close the video, I'm gonna go ahead and say it on this one again. Uh, if you guys wanna see me clean shaven, shaving the beard completely off, you guys have to hit the subscribe button. I need to reach 50,000 subscribers before the 4th of July. That's the deal. Anyway, if you guys like the video, you guys know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me a lot. Uh, drop me a comment. Let me know, you know, if you subscribe just to see me shave the beard. But uh, yeah, anyway, we'll catch you on the next one.